Hey everybody, it's Soaping Sunday, and today I went to my second craft fair, and let me tell you, I'm so glad that I did another craft fair. Once again, I learned a lot, and even though it's a lot of work to haul all this stuff, it was awesome. <laughs> I met a lot of great people, and this was my first outdoor craft fair. My first one was indoors, so this time I got to use my new tent that my parents got me, which was so awesome. I was the only one that had a yellow tent, and I was really happy about that because I want my booth to stand out, and so I had my yellow jacket, just one more story farm, had my yellow tent up, and <laughs> I had my booth with all of my teal colors and gold soap jackets just to make it all cohesive and I'm so happy with how it came out. Now for sales, I ended up making $144 in sales. This was a craft fair at my kids school so it was a spring craft fair and I paid $40 for the vendor spot which is all fundraising for the school so it was really awesome to be able to put that money towards a good cause and also give a raffle item too which i just put together two of my goat milk soaps in one of my nice teal boxes for the raffle for somebody to win <laughs> Now what I took from the craft fair is a lot of learning experiences, like setting up an outdoor booth, setting up this tent, dealing with wind, and making sure to put weights on the bottom of my tent legs. Boots were having issues with their tents lifting because of the wind today, and so I was really thankful that I not only had the little tent stakes that come with this, but also 30 pounds of weight on each leg. That was helpful. Now I met so many nice people and got to talk with people in my community and tell them about Just One More Story Farm, which was honestly my favorite part. I love getting to meet new people, share how awesome making soap is, and hopefully maybe inspire someone else to make some soap. <laughs> now I did set up different scents of my soap in the very front and then I put a sign that said smell us it's soap and a lot of people did actually come up and smell the different scents and I think that was helpful as kind of an icebreaker where I could encourage people to come up and smell the soaps and have a little experience and that way they can experience how amazing these soaps smell and then from there I would explain that I have a goat farm here in town and I sell my goat milk soap <laughs> and I shared that I have this YouTube channel so that they can actually see the bars of soap that they purchased they can look at the episode on the soap jacket and see what episode their soap was made and that way they can actually see their bar of soap being made and a lot of the customers thought that was really cool so I'm happy that it's a feature that people are enjoying <laughs> I also got to talk to repeat customers and find out how they liked their goat milk soap. The feedback was awesome. They were so happy with their soap and I'm happy to hear that. And now with these sales, I can look and see what I sold the most of and know moving forward what I should make more of and what scents were most popular since a lot of people sniffed the scents and let me know what they liked and didn't like. <laughs> And this time, from my very first craft show, that having the prices listed on everything is the way to go because that is what people want to know. They want to know how much. And some people don't feel comfortable asking, so having the prices already listed up there was really helpful. And most people paid in cash, but I did have my little square reader, and that came in handy for those that wanted to pay with their card. And it was super easy to use, which I'm thankful for because... <laughs> Technology is not my strong suit. <laughs> now for my next craft fair, because I do want to do more, what I will do to improve the experience for the next time is I would like to have a wagon of some sort that I can put everything in to bring it to the site because hauling everything, even though I had my parents' help and my kids' help and my sister-in-law's help, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> And I think having a wagon that I saw some cool vendors had would be really helpful for the next one. <laughs> and we were there for five hours, so I'm glad that we brought water bottles and snacks just to keep us sustained while we were there. And the time honestly flew by really fast. 
So if you have started making soap or you're thinking about making soap and you're thinking about what you're gonna do with all that soap, you should sell it at a craft fair. It's a great way to get your business name out there and meet new people in your area and get a lot of experience and get feedback on your product. <laughs> so after loading this up and setting up the site then breaking down the site and now i'm home and i have to put all of this away it's definitely a workout <laughs> but it's so worth it so thank you for hanging out with me today and if you haven't started soaping yet what are you waiting for get your soap on if you liked this video if you could hit that like button down below the thumbs up i'd really appreciate it also, if you want to see more videos about soap making and soap business tips, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps our channel. farm a wicked awesome farm watch this channel to learn what to do we love to farm and we'll show you yeah welcome to our show welcome